Welcome to the Doggo Bake Show. I'm your host, Joanne Cabarus. We're gonna be sculpting dogs with polymer clay using minimal tools and lots of imagination. Come on in! Hi everyone, I'm Joanne and you are watching a sculpting show. For some of you who have been watching my show from the beginning and been following my show, thank you very much. That's actually the best way to go if you want to follow the story of my show. But for some of you who are new to my show, welcome. I have a question. Have you sculpted a dog before? Yes? No? What I found out that sculpting dogs and animals has some good effect in our health especially when you lose a pet. Whether you're actually creating your own pet sculptures during those times, it helps you heal. It makes someone feel good. It helps someone reminisce about their pet, whether the pet is still alive or not. Recreating your own pets has quite a benefit for you. If you haven't sculpted any dogs or any animals, I highly recommend it, even just once in your lifetime. And this is the purpose of this show. Today's episode is Bijon Frise. Not bitchin' fries. Soda, everyone! I have one left! Oh, perfect! There's one more left. Soda! It's now 50 cents! Hi, Fries. I'd like to buy your soda. Yay! Thank you so much! Now I can go to the art studio now! Oh, okay. I appreciate it a lot, Aussie! Now I can afford to buy a car! And I will make sure to take you around the town. Are you old enough to drive? I can finally see more places and travel to the other neighborhood. <laughs> Think of me. Think of me fondly when we've said goodbye. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. Hi, Fries! I heard you from the stairs wanting to drive, huh? Yes, Joanne! I have reached my savings goal today. I can buy a car now. Hmm... How old are you again? Eight. I don't think you're allowed to drive yet, Fries. I hope your parents know about this. Eh. What do you mean, eh? Here, use this. Drive a car when it's safe for you to drive. Oh, come on! Yeah, as long as you're in my care, I'm responsible for your safety. Okay, cool, cool. By the way, thank you for letting me borrow your handmade truck, my friend. Nicely done. Come on, let's show them how to create a vision frise. I am all white, so prepare your white curly yarn. Preparation Toothpicks, polymer clay, Brush and baby oil, any tool with a rounded tip, scissors and yarn. Dogo Bake Show, Dogo Bake Books, the Bijon Frise tutorial will be found in the Dogo Bake 2. All you gotta do is follow the instructions.
that's how you're made. quick I shaped that we only use mostly white clay for this dog although you need black and pink as you can see I textured the body as well with a bowl stylus the tool that has a rounded tip you can get away with using just the tip of a print brush or any anything that has round tip you don't have to actually buy the actual bowl stylus to to do this texturing so with this i'm not going to apply the yarn yet because it's not safe to bake that yarn in the oven it could potentially melt or burn in the oven that is a fire hazard see that was quick we are going to bake it now Make sure the sculpture fits inside the oven and nothing is touching the heating elements on top or on the bottom. It's inside the oven. Settings is 250 to 275 degrees Fahrenheit. And it has to be on the bake settings. And then 30 minutes. For some of you who are curious what the Bijon Frise means or where did it come from, it's actually from France. Bijon is the name of the dog breed and Frise means curly, curly and pure white. While the sculpture is baking, I'd like to show you or explain to you what this doggo bake is about. I wrote everything in this book. These were actually real sculpture and real clay that I formed and then I took pictures of them and then I wrote the content of the book. Basically, I designed and wrote everything in this book, especially the content. When you obtain one or all of my books that I've written, you are actually supporting my work directly. And I also wrote one book for cats. So if you wanna check it out, try it. It's called The Kitty Bake Polymer Clay. That's it. Oh, whoa, that was quick. All right, we are ready to apply the yarn now. What do you think? Will you try to make it? All you need is small amount of clay, some yarn, some toothpicks, and a toaster oven. That's it. You can get away with any tools that you can find at home. Don't forget to grab your copies of the Doggo Bake 1, 2, and 3 to learn how to create more dogs at your own pace. Subscribe to my channel if you want to follow the story of our dog neighborhood. Oh, oh, don't forget to share these videos with your family and friends. That is just as important. Thank you for watching the Bijon Frise tutorial today. And see you again next Friday for another dog. Prefer.